guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reading part 5 of our Ramadan series, Hadith and Sunnah. Prophet Muhammad wasallam lived hundreds of years before we were born. When the Prophet wasallam was alive, many people listened to him carefully and watched his actions. They used to tell others about the Prophet wasallam and what he said or did. The sayings and actions of the Prophet wasallam are known as Hadith. The way Rasulullah lived and worked is called the Sunnah. Many people memorized the teachings of the Prophet They passed on these teachings to their children and grandchildren. As time passed, many people in the world became Muslim, but they had never seen the Prophet They wanted to know what Prophet Muhammad said or what he did. They learned about the life of the Prophet through people who had, never, who had seen him. After many years, the people who had seen the Prophet ﷺ also passed away. People thought that they would begin to forget what the Prophet ﷺ did or said, so they began to write down what they remembered. A wise person named Imam al-Bukhari collected the ahadith that people remembered. More than one hadith is called ahadith. Imam al-Bukhari spent his entire life collecting ahadith. He traveled to distant places and met people who knew hadith. Some people told him false hadith that the Prophet ﷺ did not say. Imam al-Bukhari was wise and found out which ahadith were correct and which were false. He collected only the correct hadith. His collections are known as correct or sahih. His book is called Sahih Bukhari. After Imam al-Bukhari, five other imams also collected hadith. With their five books and Sahih Bukhari, we have a total of six books of ahadith. These six books are known as Sahih Sitta, or the true six. The Quran is the most important book in Islam. The Hadith books are the second most important books. A Hadith give details about many Islamic laws. For example, the Quran tells us to give zakat and donate to charity. How much do we give in zakat? The Hadith give us the details. A Hadith tell us how our Prophet ﷺ lived and how people of his time lived. Hadith books have many good teachings about how to lead our lives. Our dear Prophet Muhammad wasallam is not with us, but we can learn about him from the Hadith books. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.